CC Color Offset is found under the Color Correction category, and it's going to allow me to shift the red, green, and blue channels individually on whatever I apply it to. And the way that it remaps those values can be changed through this overflow menu. So let's start by just shifting some of these around. If I just randomly change these values, they're going to shift all those color channels around. Increasing the value will basically add more of that color channel and decreasing it will take more away. Let me reset this and show you something really interesting. If normally with an angle control like this, one revolution, one complete cycle would wrap the colors completely around like the hue and saturation effect. If I bring that out, turn off color offset for a second and just wrap this all the way around 360 degrees, then we're right back where we started. For whatever reason, color offset doubles that cycle. So we need to go two times around this to wrap back to where we started. So one revolution is only halfway around. But if I change all of these to two, then we will wrap back all the way to where we were. So that's just something to keep in mind with this effect. I'll reset that back to default, and then I'm gonna switch my view right here to only looking at the red channel. So it's gonna visualize this with a grayscale image, showing me how much of that red channel exists across my comp. As I increase this red phase, those intensities are shifting around, and I'm basically inverting the channel once I do one revolution. But I can change how these values are being interpolated with the overflow menu. It's defaulted to solarize, but I could change it to polarize, which actually won't change anything at exactly one revolution, but if I move it somewhere in between and switch between polarize and solarize, it's a little bit more of a smooth transition. Our only other option is wrap, and this is gonna be very harsh. So let's just reset everything and change that back to wrap, and then just increase that red phase a little bit. And you'll notice that very harshly changed my image, and it just kind of wraps them around in a very abrupt way. Let's go back to viewing the RGB version and see how that looks. It's much more sharp, much more like the threshold effect. Changing it to solarize will basically wrap the values around so the brightest parts become dark and just get shifted up the scale. Same thing for polarize, it just interpolates a little bit differently. So if you ever wanted to shift all of those channels around individually and control how they're wrapped around, CC Color Offset is for you, but that's all there is to it. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you wanna support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.